Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Shave. So, this video is not truly a daily shaving video. I am trying to shave every day, but with my current work schedule and with my need for sleep, I just haven't been able to shave every day. So this is going to be a shave with two days of facial hair growth. I'm really trying to keep up with daily shaves because when you are shaving every day, your skin gets used to that trauma and you can just get great shaves day in, day out. So, if, you know, normally before I was doing this, I was, going, I was shaving every like two or three days and if all of a sudden I'd go to daily shave, shaving every single day in a row, I'd get a lot of skin irritation. But once you break through those first couple initial days of skin irritation, if you keep it up, shaving every single day, every like 24 hours, your skin will get a used to that abuse and will like build up resistance to it and you can get great shaves every day. I was getting awesomely smooth shaves every single day and that's where I want to be. So I am trying to shave every day but unfortunately I missed a day here so I do have two days of facial hair growth going into today. But I'm really excited for the shave and I'm excited to use a new shaving soap that I haven't used and this is the Gondolier by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is the new uh, artisan soap making company from Douglas Smythe. So he originally had How to Grow Mustache with his Synergy uh, soap line and this is his new one. So my first Synergy soap was the 1.0 and then he refined it and made the 1.5 and then the Synergy 2.0 which is my CAD scent that I have here. But this is all 2.5, the new stuff from Phoenix. And this is supposed to be incredible stuff. Just opening up here, it looks very beautiful. It's that same kind of like, it looks like Katie's Bubbles a lot. Just that same kind of like creamy consistency, quite soft, so I'm very excited to give this a shot because if it stays in the line of the other Synergy soaps, even though these are no longer Synergy soaps, uh, same soap maker and I expect it to be really, really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So taking a quick peek here at the ingredient list, it's uh, based in saponified stearic acid, water, castor seed oil, coconut oil, cocum seed butter, sodium lactate. Sodium lactate just helps harden up uh, soaps. Glycerin, fragrance, great list. I'm very, very happy with that. And this is the Gondolier scent. Really love this scent from them. I actually have their aftershave splash. It's nice. It's a clean, refreshing, citrusy, kind of like rosemary, juniper. Very, very nice scent. It kind of reminds me of a nice, clean, fresh, summery accent. You know, that Axe body spray, but just like a really, really nice version of it. Anyway, I really, really like that a lot. For today's shave, I'm going to be using my Samogue Owner's Club Boar Hair Brush. Still working on breaking this thing in. I really like this brush. It's been doing such a great job. Super soft, nice backbone. Really, really incredible brush. I had it soaking while I was in the shower. Just got a shower, cleaned out my facial hair in there. It's nice, hydrated, cleaned out, ready to go. I'm going to dip this just in some hot tap water here and wring out the knot so I can control the water content in my lather. And this is a dry puck, and I'm going to go ahead and load up. This is the nice 5 ounce, or excuse me, 8 ounce, 5 inch puck like uh, Synergy soaps were. And I really do like that. Just with this increased surface area, it really does ease uh, loading up the soaps. It just makes it that much easier to load up the amount that you want. So I'm sure I already have plenty, but I'm going to load up extra just because I'd rather have more than not enough. Yeah, all right, there we go. Nice and pasty in the brush, that's what I'm looking for. So I got some hot tap water here in the sink. Add it to my face. I'm gonna build the lather. So if you start off your lather very dry, it's gonna look like this, kinda like chunky on your skin. Hope you guys can see that there. Um, then you start dipping your brush here in the uh, sink water and adding that into the lather. And you can build up nice and slowly. Very, very beautiful, dense lather here. 
It's got a really nice consistency, very yogurty. It's really, really nice. Did a great job building up, and that was very easy to build. Just kind of paint over it, get it off my nose there. All right, looks great. So once again, for a shave today, Icon 102 Slant Head. It's a feather blade in here, and this is the second shave on this blade. The feather blade in here, my last shave, was awesome. It was super sharp, gave a very, very efficient shave. But these feather blades, they just do it. They have a little bit of bite to them. You know, they're so sharp, and the edges aren't just like quite as smooth as like Persona. Um, but that smoothness, if you add that smoothness, you lose some of the sharpness, in my opinion. So I'm hoping that this kind of smoothed out a bit on the first shave. Just kind of, you know, using your blade, it dulls in time and gets smoother. So I hope that's what happened. <clears throat> so, first pass, going with the grain. Go ahead and wet the razor here in the hot tap water. Get going. I'm using really light pressure here on my neck. I don't want to get any irritation or any cuts. <clears throat> All right, very nice first pass. I really like the scent on this soap. It's definitely stayed true to the original Synergy Gondolier scent and tons of slickness here. Wow, very, very slick soap, lots behind. I could probably do a second pass without putting this on, but I'm gonna do it anyway, obviously. Tons of lather in the soap, I barely used any there. All right, second pass going cross grain. The slickness on this is truly incredible. I do have a few nicks there, so please disregard that. I think this uh, feather blade might be a bit much in this razor, but the slickness here is very, very amazing. All right, and so much slickness left behind here. Wow, very, very impressive. All right, going back to the brush, clear out the lather left here with my left hand, feeling around. Just apply it to my entire face. The razor here in my right hand and clean up. All right, feels great. I may clean up for some final remarks. All right, wow. My hat's off to Douglas Smythe for this most recent soap. Jeez, that was such an excellent shave. It's so smooth. My skin feels nice and conditioned. Nice scent left behind here. That's some amazing stuff. I'll definitely give him that. I do a few little nicks here and there, but 
I'm going to chalk that up to the Icon 102 with the feather in there. You know, these slant head razors are just a little bit more aggressive than your standard safety bar razors. And when you put a really aggressive blade in there, it's a more aggressive shave and you're going to nick yourself. And I nicked myself my first shave with the, uh, the feather blade in there. So I guess I've learned my lesson. Maybe I shouldn't use a feather blade in this razor. Anyway, amazing, uh, very good shave. Incredibly close. All right. Post shave today, I'm about to go to bed. I'm uh, into night shaves right now still with my work schedule. Wake up too early to get a good shave in. Using the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Go ahead and apply it. All right guys, thank you for joining me for this shave. This is such a great shave. Uh, you know, even when you do get a good shave at night, it'll still last until the next day. It's not gonna look as fresh and just crisp as like a fresh morning shave will, but still you'll go in the next day and it'll look like you've shaved and it'll still look professional and like have that nice, fresh, clean look to it. So this is what I'm doing for now and it'll, it's what it'll have to be for now. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and more videos to come.